It's about time. I thought you'd never come back. Uh, Kelly, have you seen anyone else around here in the park? I mean, alive. Alive? Oh, yeah, I ran into her earlier. Don't worry, she used to work here and said she was just checking things out. If you say so. I found a newspaper article that said Mrs. Crandall died from a fall over a railing while working on the funhouse. When I saw her in the funhouse, she wasn't working even close to the railing. You think it wasn't an accident? There's more. I had a vision. Someone putting a kid behind a wall. Then I found a body in the funhouse. I suspect it won't be the only one we find. Murder? Well, we can call the police, but first we have to keep digging, find out what really happened here. I need to look over by the roller coaster. Can we play your side, my side later? Hey now, it was your idea we split the park up to begin with. Don't get bent out of shape now because I got the better half. If there's exploring needed over there, I can do it. Fine. Mr. Crandall said Robert was last seen at the roller coaster the day of the collapse. No problem. I was picking up some strong readings over there earlier. I'll do another check farther in and let you know if I pick up anything. Just be careful. Please, this is exciting. It's going to take more than shadow people and creepy clowns to scare me. I have to head towards the roller coaster. I'm glad you're still here, child. Hello, Miss Rose. Did you think of something else that might help? Not about the park, but when I was thinking about you, this symbol came to mind. Does it mean anything to you? It doesn't look familiar to me, but let me take a picture of it. I have a friend who might be able to help. Simon, I'm uploading an image from Vic. Yep, it's coming in right now. Any idea what it means? Hang on a tick. Ah, yes. I've seen it before. If I recall correctly, it's a symbol once believed to break barrier spells. It's been a long time since I've seen any reference to it, though. Where did you find it? I've someone here who claims the symbol has something to do with me. Well, if it does indeed have to do with you, you must know how to use it properly. You're to put that symbol at the location of an energy barrier. I get it. And this symbol would break the barrier? Right. The energy holding the barrier in place should disperse, allowing you to pass through. I'm going to go home, Kelly. There's a dark storm headed this way. A storm? It looks pretty clear to me, but who am I to question a fortune teller? You be careful, dear. Tell Delaware to trust his instincts. They're about to come into question. Delaware? What do you know about him? I don't know anything about him, hon. I'm just passing along a message. You be careful. So, who is this mystery woman? She used to work at the park as a fortune teller. She says something keeps bringing her back here every now and then. That's rather vague. Well, how are things going there? Incredible. I witnessed a poltergeist firsthand. Delaware has made contacts with some of the spirits still around. So it's an intelligent haunting? I think so. Delaware being able to interact with the spirits fits the intelligent haunting bill to a T. I admit, he's got a way of taking care of restless spirits. Oh? Is that a metaphor? What? Don't mind me. I wasn't insinuating you had a crush on Delaware. A what? Are we in grade school? Why would you... I mean, what would make you think... It's just ridiculous to even think that... If it's so ridiculous, then why, in all the years I've known you, have you never had a loss of intelligent words but for now? Here's some intelligent words for you. Not in this lifetime. Goodbye, Simon. There's an entrance down there, but I don't know how I'm going to get... It 
It's a cement brick. It's heavy. It's a fuse. It's another fuse. What happened to you? Another poltergeist? There's a hunter here. It was huge and started to chase me and I ran. I fell down into the tunnel and it chased me all the way down. Whoa, 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 slow down. Did it hurt you? No, I outran it. So we have our cloaked figure making an appearance here, and a hunter. Do you suppose our cloaked friend is the seed spreader? I think so, but not directly. Mother Helena summoned the hunter at the orphanage, we know that. Maybe he's not capable of summoning hunters himself? But what does he benefit from all this? I think the cloaked figure is the destroyer. Oh, I was holding the communicate button. I was thinking the same thing, Simon. But Simon, if the destroyer is here, then why would the hunter be here as well? Why would the destroyer waste his time creating more hunters when he can just go after the protector himself? The hunters are summoned to collect power for the destroyer. So each hunter planted is one more soldier in the destroyer's army. Yes. Once the protector is destroyed and the balance shifts to darkness, the hunters take on a new form, each with the power of a dark god on Earth. Creating more bad guys wanting to take over the world. Okay, Simon, thanks. My turn. I'll be taking that. Not so fast. I found out the caves that caused the collapse were attached to the employee tunnels. Someone in the park knew this. I found the connection blocked by a cabinet. I got a little sidetracked, but give me a little longer to check things out. I don't like the idea of you going back down there. Okay, Dad, relax. I have to do it now. This is the safest time. Remember, a hunter can only manifest as a semi-physical form for short periods of time. It's going to be a while before it'll be able to appear again. All right, but if you do see it again, remember to get a picture. What an odd box. I wonder what the numbers on the top mean. Five. Nine. Eight. Four. How about that? It worked! It's a tube of face paint. 